Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. The span of the beam is given as 8 meter. We have uniformly distributed load 64 kN per meter. It acts for a distance of 3 meter. It starts at a distance of 2 meter from the left support and it ends at the distance of 5 meter from the left support. Now let us use this formula. In this formula, A is the distance between the left support and the starting point of uniformly distributed load that is 2. So A is 2. B is the distance from the left end to the end point of the uniformly distributed load that is 5 meter. So B is 5 meter, W is 64 and L is 8. For MA, we will get 200.25 kN meter. Now using this formula, we can find the fixed end movement in the point B. For the movement MB, we will get 159.75 kN meter. We know that the formulas to find MA and MB are very difficult to memorize. Alternatively, we can do integrations and find MA and MB. We know that if in the fixed beam, a concentrated load acts at a distance A, these are the formulas to find MA and MB. Now we are going to use these two formulas. In the portion where uniformly distributed load is acting, let us consider a small distance dx at a distance of x from the point A. So this distance should be 8 minus x. Considering this formula, W is 64 into dx. So 64 dx, A is x and B is 8 minus x. The limit for the integration is 2 to 5. In this formula, let us apply the values. W is 64 dx, A is x, and B is 8 minus x, and L is 8. Now let us take a calculator and do this integration. If you do not know how to do integrations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. For MA, I have got 200.25 kN meter. Then using this formula and then using the integration, we can find MB. For MB, we will get 159.75. We have found both of the end movements. Now we are going to find the vertical reactions. First, let us find the vertical reaction RA. For that, let us take a movement about B. This movement is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be positive, and the distance is 8, so 8 RA. This uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to divide the distance by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance that is 3. This movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for RA we will get 113.0625 now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find rb, ra and rb are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards. So it will be negative and the distance is 3. For rb we will get 78.9375. Now let us find the shear force values. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. 
using the rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram in this point the shear force becomes zero in this point there will be maximum positive bending moment in this point let us make a section and find the distance you can see that in that point i have made a section at a distance of x from the point a in this point let us find the shear force va is acting upwards so that it will be positive the udl is acting downwards so it will be negative for the udl we have to take this distance this distance is x minus 2 in this way we can find x for x we will get 3.77 meter now let us find the maximum positive bending moment ma is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative the reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.77 the uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3.77 minus 2 so that it will be 1.77 for the maximum positive bending moment we will get 125.74 let us find the bending moment in the point a in the point a we have ma which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative let us find the bending moment in the point c ma is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative va is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2 for the bending moment at c we will get 25.87 to find the bending moments in the points B and D, we can use the left hand side rule because it will be easy. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Now let us find the bending moment in the point D. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative the vertical reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3 for the bending moment at d we will get 77.06 here you can see the bending moment diagram in these two points the bending moment becomes zero we can make sections in these two points and to find the distances you can see that i have made two sections the first section at a distance of x from the point a and the second section at a distance of x from the point b to find this value of x we can use the right hand side rule using the right hand side rule we can take a movement about the section finally for x we will get 1.77 using left hand side rule we can find the value of x for x we will get 2.02 meter let us apply both of them now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video